Hey, what is up, everybody? Uh, Steven Breach coming to you in another video. This video, we're going to be talking about uh, Kurt Angle. Uh, basically, the lockdown pay per view came and went for uh, TNA, and uh, nothing really big happened on it. Sting kept the title, so on and so forth, pretty much. Um, the one thing that caught my eye basically was uh, Kurt Angle jobbed again. Um, Kurt Angle is, uh, I want to say he's the best wrestler in uh, TNA, but when it comes down to it, Kurt Angle's probably one of the best wrestlers there is. You know, in the WB or in the whole entire world. I mean, he's done everything, and basically, he's being treated like jobber status. Um, to, to 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 Jeff Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett doesn't need anybody putting him over. I mean, Jeff Jarrett's a wrestling star on his own, but he doesn't need to be, you know, letting Kurt Angle beat him on back-to-back -back pay per views. I mean, if if Kurt Angle was doing the jobs to you know maybe to a guy like uh, Mr. Anderson to help put him over to get him at the top of the card or help. You know, build guys up like Kaz or anybody like like in the uh, you know in the mid card, Robert Roode, James Storm, people like that. Try to get them to the point to where TNA has a more established stars at the top of the card in the main event status. I mean, that's another thing. But this is to Jeff Jarrett, which does not make any sense at all. I mean, they're treating him like a guy that is on his way out the door, just trying to prove to the point that Jeff Jarrett is a bigger star than Kurt Angle, so that when you know. Uh, they, they, when Angle would be to leave, they can be act like they have somebody that's just as good at him. But this is a guy that has came out and said that he wants to re-sign with this company. TNA has done everything they can do to keep Kurt Angle, and Kurt Angle wants to stay there. Uh, you know, TNA bought into his uh, production studio to make those low-class uh, low movies that are third-rate films compared to the, the WWE films they're pumping out right now. But, I mean... If this guy wants to stay there, why are you jobbing him out? It doesn't make any sense. There's no progression to the storyline at all with the Jarrett's and the Angles anymore. Nobody cares about it. It's it's over. You know, a good match can't even save this. It's time to put Kurt Angle on another island and Jeff Jarrett somewhere else and just separate these guys and let them go. And and by letting you know Jarrett get one more win over Angle, it doesn't make any sense at all. There's no way to even this out. There's no rubber match. There's no nothing. I mean. He, he, Jared's beat him three times in a row now, so it, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I think that um, when, you, when you look at those WrestleMania tweets where, uh, you know, Kurt Angle got his phone, you know, jacked or, you know, whatever he, he said, you know, he, he said he got hacked into his account or something like that one way or another. He was bitching about everybody in the world stealing his moves and WB like he invented everything in the world, but... Um, Kurt Angle's going to look back and he's going to wish he was in the big time. I mean, that was the, the first time, uh, I mean, that, that was the first thing that caught my mind when I read those tweets live for the first time when we were driving away from WrestleMania. I was like, he's just bitter that he's wrestling in TNA that wrestles in this impact arena that, you know, is basically located on Universal Studios. And WWE just sold out the George Dome. And you know what? They're going to go on to another arena next year down to Miami and sell the hell out of that. And onto another one and another one. I mean, and and what is TNA going to do? I mean, he hasn't signed the deal yet, as far as I know, to stay with TNA. Kurt Angle, if you want to get out there, WWE wants you, needs you, and could use you. I mean, don't waste away the last few years you have in TNA for you know, the feel-good moment. I'm sure they will get you some sort of deal. The fans want it. I would love to see him on there. I don't care if you only wrestle you know, one Raw a month. If you just show up and do a, a appearances on Raw, do some interviews, that's going to bide your time. You don't work you know, certain pay-per-views a year. You can work out any deal you want, and I'm sure they would give it to you. I'm sure WB has a spot for you on the roster anywhere. But instead, you want to waste your way, your your last days away in TNA. It doesn't make any sense at all. Kurt Angle, you gave that company a big boost by signing there, but honestly, that company went downhill uh, moments after you got there, after they killed off Samoa Joe. Um, so if you haven't signed that deal yet as a fan, I'm telling you, Kurt Angle, I wish you would look at it because, you know, don't waste your time away there because, you know, the fans, we want to see you on a higher platform, and WWE is that for you. We want to see you have WrestleMania matches if we can. Uh, don't be like Sting, basically, where, you know, you sign back with TNA instead of taking that offer to fight the Undertaker at WrestleMania and then look at what happens to you at the next match with Jeff Hardy. Uh, we don't need to go back down that road. And, you know, TNA put on a show that was better than Victory Road, it seems like, so maybe that'll help get that out of people's minds. But... I think if you asked Sting, I think he would have made a different decision.